Hey YT family, this is NYC Chocolate here and I just wanted to make a video to touch on a couple of things that I've been feeling in my spirit and to just give encouragement and to let everyone know that, you know, this is your journey and you have to own it. You have to really want this. You have to make yourself accountable for everything it is that you do. When we went into this journey and decided to have weight loss surgery, nobody just did it as just an easy decision. It's not something that you just, boom, snap overnight. Oh, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to have weight loss surgery. If you're anything like me, you did the research, you thought about it, you talked to people about it, you discussed it, and you decided that this is your time. This is your opportunity to get your life to be the way that you want it to be. And um, in doing this process, you have to make this journey yours. Like, I made my weight loss journey mine. And like Drake says, he's on one. I was on one. When I say I was dedicated, I was dedicated. I had blinders on towards everything else. It was all about Helena and making Helena the best Helena that she could be. I was focused. It was like there was no turning back. Because if you're anything like me, you've lost weight in the past, and you've been successful, but you gained it back because you stopped doing what it is that helped you to lose weight. So when you decide to go on your weight loss journey, your whole mindset and thinking pattern and thoughts have to change. And that's what did it for me is that I made a conscious decision that things in the past didn't work, so I got to start new. I got to change my whole mindset, my whole focus, my whole thought pattern into a new lifestyle. And I have to dedicate myself to that lifestyle. No matter how hard, how easy, how much of a struggle it is, I had to make sure that I did what it was that I was supposed to do. Point, point, simple. It wasn't no if, ands, buts about it. We have to maintain our focus on Doing whatever it takes to get to where you want to be. For me, it was, if I got to pack my lunch every day, then I'm going to pack my lunch every day. I'm going to make sure I have the things necessary with me that are going to help me reach the goal that I want to get to. I'm going to have to take my vitamins. I'm going to have to eat protein. I'm going to have to include fresh fruits and vegetables in my diet. I'm going to have to drink this water even though I don't want it, but I'm going to drink it because it's going to help me. I'm going to have to work out and exercise even though I don't feel like it, but it's going to help me and it's going to benefit me, so I have to do it. I'm not saying that this journey is easy, by no means necessary. I'm not special. Anything that I did, you could do. Because there's nothing different about me than it is about you. But it was just being dedicated. You have to put in the work to get to where you want to be. Plain and simple. That's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Plain and simple. You have to put in the work. If you think that, okay, because you exercise today, that'll take care of tomorrow, this week, next week, next month. 
No. I'm sorry. You got to get up and move every day. If not every day, every other day. Or at the minimum, at least three times a week. Even if you just go out your house and just walk around your block, around the park. For 30 minutes to an hour. That's getting some work in. in. That's working out. That's moving your body. That's getting your muscles warmed up. That's doing something. You have to be dedicated. Like I said, I was on one. I knew that if I slipped up, it was going to be like the last time. And my whole focus had to change. My whole mindset had to change. I had to make this all about me. It was nothing else mattered except making me the best me. You got to sacrifice. Plain and simple. You got to give up the bad things for the good things. I'm not going to say I never slipped up. I'm not going to say I never ate something that I shouldn't have. Yeah, if I wanted a cookie, I had me a cookie. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and say that, oh, I ate salads all the time and I had my protein and I never deviated from my plant. No. NYC chocolate, I slipped up. But I got right back up and I said, oh, Wait a minute, hour from now, two hours from now, the next day, the next day, next week, I got to work harder because of my little slip up. I got to make sure that I work whatever it was that I ate, piece of pizza here, a cookie there, a piece of cake. I got to work it off and get my mind. Set right. And plain and simple. You got to be accountable. You got to be accountable for everything you put in your mouth. You have to say to yourself. Do I really want this? Is this really going to benefit me. Into getting to goal. Into losing weight. Into maintaining my weight. Being accountable for your actions is the most important thing. Because if you're not accountable for you, who else is going to be? Nobody else can do this except for you. You could want to do it for your family, for your children, for your spouse, for your significant other. But unless you really do it for you, that's not going to work. Everyday struggle. Biggie got a song, Everyday Struggle. I don't want to live no more. It's like death is knocking at the front door. Another hustle, an everyday struggle. And that's what losing weight is. That's what this journey is about. It's an everyday struggle. But you got to be bigger than that. You got to own your struggle. And say to yourself, do I want to change where I'm at? Or do I want to remain stagnant and in the same place where I've always been? We got to stop making excuses. We got to stop making excuses. Because nobody can care about you more than you care about yourself. Like I said, you could want to do it for your family, your children, your friends, whatever, to get in a dress. But unless you stop making excuses, oh, it's hard. Oh, I don't feel like eating this. I don't feel like drinking this water. I don't feel like working out. You're going to be 
in the same place that you've always been in. And that's the thing. It clicked in my mind that, yo, I got to switch it up. I have to get in a mindset where this is my life now. I'm changing. I'm evolving. I'm growing. I'm making my life a whole new life. And that's exactly what I did. I'm always good for the props. Like I showed y'all before, this was me. 232 pounds. This was me right here. Like I said, I keep this picture up on my mirror. I look at it every day. Because I realize where I came from and where I no longer want to be. This keeps me focused. This keeps me on one. This keeps me dedicated. This keeps me from making excuses. Also, I keep this with me. This is my bill from Blue Cross Blue Shield. When I opened that bill, I almost fell out on the floor. For my gastric bypass surgery that I had January 10th of 2011, that was $26,000. I only had to come out of pocket $400 for my hospital stay. That was it. I don't know about you, but I know me. I can't just roll up to the bank and say, oh yeah, let me pull out 26. Jeez. Because I'm deciding I want to have gastric bypass today and pay my surgeon and have it. I thank God. It was nothing but God, whoever you believe in, that allowed me to have a job that had this insurance and it was covered and I was able to get it. This bill keeps me focused. It keeps me dedicated because a lot of people may want it, but they can't have it. When you go through all that rigmarole with the insurance and having this clearance and this test and paying this copay and see as this specialist, when you do all of that and then you want to sabotage yourself? No, I don't want the parts of that. I'm sorry, I can't get down like that because I put in my work. I still put in my work. I'm going to have to continue to put in my work for the rest of my life to maintain where I want to be. I also just want to give a couple of shout outs and I have to write things down because sometimes my memory is all over the place. So I want to give a couple of shout outs to people that keep me on it, that keep me focused, that keep me on one. That show me that this life is possible. I can do this because I want it. I'm going to give a shout out to my sister in Delaware. Miss Vanetta One, I love you. I'm there for you. You can do this. If I did it, you can do this. And we're going to do it together. Slim and Sam, I just signed up. Loved your video. CC Bandit, go sister, you rocking it. JMC Bride, girl, you are on one too. I see you working. You are dedicated. The fat and the beautiful, you doing the work. Because it's clicking in your mind. I see it. Mama Rose, you know, I can't see say enough about you. Your wisdom, your videos, they put thoughts in my head. And that's why I had to come on and speak because this was in my spirit and I just knew that if I'm feeling this way and it's just because of videos that I'm watching, then I need to speak on it. I need to let it out. Brits Bandit, 
I'm so glad you didn't get that chocolate. My sister, you're going to do this. My Palm Bella. That's my sister. Even though she loves the Patriots. But that's my girl. My brother. Northern Southerner. Busting loose. I'm busting loose. I'm doing what it takes to make me be the best me for me. And that's what I want you to do. Do what it takes to make you the best you that you could be. I just got one more thing that I want to show you guys. If you take where you're at right now. These are a pair of my old jeans. These are size 16s. And I used to like cute little things. Pay good money for you my clothes because I had no other choice. Now, I can shop wherever I want to. I can go in any store and pick up anything that I want. And it's not about a size. It's not about a certain weight. It's about being comfortable in the skin that you're in. And Mama Rose says that all the time. I picked up these little skinny jeans. Guess how much these jeans were, family? Five dollars. I ain't never picked up no jeans when I was no size 16, 18, 14 for five dollars. I mean, just something to throw on. Come on now. That's priceless to me. <laughs> this was a skirt that I used to love. Because I thought, oh yeah, this make me look slim. I could wrap this around me now three times. Please. This is me now. Okay? This is me now. So if it takes you buying a couple of pieces of clothing that you know that you want to get into, I say do it. Go buy you a couple of pieces of clothing that you can't fit right now, but you can hang them in your closet. You can look at them and say, I'm going to get in this. I'm going to wear this. I'm going to be this size. Whatever it takes to get your focus on you, that's what I want you to do. And I just want to play you just a little snippet of a song. Because this is my, this is my anthem. Of course it's not going to come on because I want it to. Jennifer Hudson, I got this. If you feel what I'm feeling, I got this. I got this. Trying to get to my goal. If you feel me, ain't no stopping me. Better believe I got this. Believe I got this. And you got this too. Let's do it. Let's own our journey. Let's make it ours. I got you.